the story of generations of people who felt the lash of bondage, the shame of servitude, the sting of segregation, but who kept on striving and hoping and doing what needed to be done so that today I wake up every morning in a house that was built by slaves. And 1792 marked the year that the construction on the president's house, what we now know as the White House, began in Washington, D.C. The D.C. commissioners, who were charged by Congress with constructing the new city under the direction of President George Washington, initially planned to use workers from Europe to help with labor needs. However, this did not pan out, and instead, black people, both enslaved and free, were called upon to provide the bulk of the labor needed to build the White House, the U.S. Capitol building, and other early government buildings. Enslaved blacks were trained to obtain and cut the rough stone used for the president's house. Yet still, critical race theory is under attack in the United States today.